so it's 6 25 now and i'm about to go and do my morning run which i usually do at 30 minutes one so but yeah i leave my phones off at home when i'm going so i won't be recording myself when i'm running but yeah i'm off now Just finished my run now. Uh, it's like 30 minutes or something. Because I don't want to kill myself in the morning. I still have. Yeah. But that's the end of it. So, this is the summer of my run. There are two minutes. 3.78 kilometers, 154, 155 ppm. That's my average heart rate. So it was quite a good run, 404 kilocalories. So not bad. So, we are now making breakfast here. We are chowing plain yogurt. And then we are going to have some strawberries and pineapple. So, yeah. Then you cut and some fruits nyan. So it's time for me to go and shower first. But before I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna go and take a shower and then start preparing for my for my morning meeting. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm done with, uh, with my shower and stuff. Uh, I'm about to start. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But I'm about to start working now. So this is how my desk is. On the left, I have my work uh, computer, and then on the other side, I have my personal computer. So today is Summer Monday. So we are looking for deals for tech. I, I'm just joking, not for tech, but I need to buy an SSD or a, a hard drive. So let's see if we can find some nice specials online or. just gonna wait i'm not gonna buy this ssd or this hard drive anymore my pc still works it's fine but my problem comes in now when i have to do some edits because you see now i have 120 119 free space on my ssd and then when i try to to put the stuff that i've recorded in order for me to be able to edit it becomes a problem so uh, it is what it is i'm just gonna wait and see what pops up over the next coming weeks and then maybe by then so yeah now I'm just gonna switch my focus now and start looking at some work stuff and start my day and prepare for my morning meeting and then yeah, take it from there. Okay, so now I'm about to switch focus and start doing some work. So as you can see now, I'm getting the laptop ready. Hey, I had already started. I had already started, so don't show. Hey, why are you showing people's names? Minimize, yeah, minimize. Yeah, this is fine. Cancel, cancel. I have to play this out because I cannot be showing the stuff of where I work and all that stuff, but, anyways. So now I'm about to start my morning meeting and then after that 
I'm gonna start writing some code and some stuff that I do for Monday. So yeah, let's go. Okay, as you guys have seen from the title of the video, it says day in the life of a South African software engineer. So basically I'm a software engineer, software developer, whatever you guys wanna classify it as, but yeah. It's basically the same thing in South Africa, whether a software developer, a developer, a programmer, or a software engineer. Most of the time, we end up doing the exact same thing, but it differs from company to company. But I don't want to go into detail with all that stuff. So I just want to answer some questions that I think you guys might have with regards to the video and stuff like that. And I'm referring to maybe what do I do and do I have qualifications and all that stuff. So, uh, I have a three-year information technology degree, which I completed in 2016. Um, I've been working from like 2017 up until now. So I have like five to six years experience, if I'm not mistaken. So what I do is I work as a C-sharp developer. Okay, my watch is doing some funny things. I work as a C-sharp developer, um, working with AWS. Um, AWS is a cloud infrastructure or cloud environment, if you guys don't know it. It's up where you run all your stuff in the cloud. You don't have to worry about maintenance and all that stuff, but you can go and read up on AWS if that's what you want. Uh, or you can let me know in the comments if you want me to get into detail about what it is and what it does, but I'm sure most of you guys know that. So basically what I do, I write applications in C-Sharp um, using Visual Studio and then deploy them to AWS and then they run using AWS um, resources. And then to create the resources on AWS, I use this other language called um, Terraform. It's an infrastructure as a code. So that is used to create the resources in AWS. So resources in AWS that I use, it's like many different stuff. You Lambda functions, DynamoDB tables, Buckets, S3, queues, SNS, SQS, and all that stuff. So the applications run using those um, those resources in AWS. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So languages that I know is C Sharp and Java. I don't use Java why because most of the time when you go to companies, you'll find that there's one main programming language that they use. But some companies use different languages. But on my side, where I work, I work with C Sharp and that is it. But I also know Java from Varsity. And yeah, I also know a bit of SQL, but I don't like SQL, so I don't touch SQL. So most of the stuff that I write is in C Sharp. Then I write the Terraform stuff, um, the infrastructure stuff using Terraform. Then it gets deployed to the cloud and it runs there. So that's what I do. If you guys have more questions about my job and what I do and how I got in the industry and how it is and all that stuff you can drop the questions in the comments i'll be able to do maybe a separate video and answer them but for now i'm just going to end this here and then continue with the vlog so let's go two hours trying to get something to build to be deployed somewhere and work and it just wasn't building nothing was working checked everything checked the configs i couldn't see what the problem was and then i just called one guy and then within a minute he was able to pick up the, the mistake that i had made and i fixed it now and it's, it's i'm deploying it and it's working so I'm just letting you guys know this so that you, you must know if you'd be a software engineer or a developer or whatever, that these are the kind of problems that you're going to have to deal with. And if you're not patient and you get irritated fast, you will be miserable for the whole day. But you see on my side, I'm taking it in now and I'm just laughing about it. That it was just Now it's lunchtime, so I'm just going to go since it's Monday. So every Monday, that's when I buy groceries, I buy weekly so that things don't go to waste and stuff like that. So... I'm just gonna go to the shop and get a couple of things and then yeah after lunch continue with work because yeah we have to make sure we do what we have to do.
Alter. Ja. An meinen Arms. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Okay, so now. Hey. 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 I almost hit the car at the back. Yeah. Because this thing is reversing and I'm seeing myself because my phone is on the, the screen here. Ridiculous. 17.6. Ibo. Aye. Petrol is expensive already. And then we are getting 17.6 averages here. What is this? What are we doing? 17.6 here. That's too much. For lunch, I'm gonna have sushi. I haven't had sushi in a while, so when I saw it there at the store, I was like, ah, let me just, yeah. So I'm gonna be enjoying this right now and then also working at the same time. <music> Exactly. What do you want to say hi to the people here on on YouTube? Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? This is a, a web developer. This guy uh, writes uh, extremely complicated stuff. What advice do you have for web developers? Uh, don't stop learning. Like, <laughs> unfortunately, you see this guy is down. He's stressed to work here, but anyways, it's fine. So now I, I'm done with work. Um, it's after work, and yeah. I've been going around the house trying to find the perfect spot to record a video because I want to record a video and post it on YouTube before I post this video that I'm recording now for the day in the life because my channel was all about cars so now I'm going to be posting other stuff so I just want to clarify that <clears throat> yeah so this is how it goes welcome back to PMTV it's your boy Boom. <laughs> I'm just joking see this Con content creation thing it's a it's, it's tough look at me now walking around with all of the stuff you see it's not good but it is what it is we move so now i'm gonna copy all the videos put them on my computer and then edit and edit and edit and then post so let's go now i'm just gonna go and have dinner and yeah see what's the duty prepared for me today let's go okay so it's nothing special it's just meat and some veggies here for for dinner so hey let's try and warm this up and hey 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 see it's tough so yeah <coughs> now we're in charge of this children's food yeah so this truly prepared food for me I'm dating, I'm doing a TikTok live just to, 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 to kill some time before the Portugal came. And then, yeah, we continue. So, yeah, it's now I'm 9 o'clock. I finished the TikTok live that I was doing. So now I'm copying all the videos that I've recorded today and I'm going to be saving them to the PC and start editing the vlog. And yeah, copying from that phone. This phone is overheating right now. It's very hot. So I, I made an ice block here to try and cool it down because that's what I was using for the TikTok live. So Samsung is crap and then people always say, argue with me. But anyways, so I think I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please um, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and also let me know what you guys want me to post in the comments. And then, yeah.